Okay, as we all know, Hogwarts Legacy very, very soon. Very, very soon. We look early access, Monday, February 6th. Three days. Six hours, 28, 23 minutes at the PS5 and PC. You know, will be six days for the non-early access version. Six hours, 23 minutes. So, there's been a lot of confusion and frustration regarding something Hogwarts Legacy has done in terms of releasing the game. And we're not talking about how they've you know, they haven't delayed any... Well, I think they've had two delays, but they haven't delayed anything. Thank God for that. Um, we're mainly talking about the release date times, right? So, what time will it release for you on the day of? Okay. A lot of streamers have planned, especially on the UK side, to do a live stream right when the game drops thinking that the game would drop the date that they would assume, right? So, and we're going to we're going to talk about some issues with with these time warps and and the differences of time zones and how it can affect a multitude of different things. So, if we go to Hogwarts Legacy, uh, their Twitter page, right? We open this image. We're going to just analyze it, okay? So, the early access time for PS5, Xbox Series X will be these times. So local time for Canada, New York, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Spain. This is all this is all midnight, right? This is all midnight, your local time. So basically, New York, right? Fe drawing February sixth to February seventh would be you know, um midnight. February 7th, you play the game, right? So, um, you know, that's interesting. Um, so, you know, same with, you know, the, the UK, etc. And February 7th, local time, right? But, you know, you may be looking at this confused as all hell. That's fair. Uh, but then we're just going to, you know... 72 hours early access, February 7th at midnight in your region, right? So, um, you know, you may be like, oh, what the fuck, right? So, it's the global launch time. Same thing, just on February 10th, regional, etc., right? Okay. So yeah. Then you have your global time for PC, February 10, 10 p.m. 1 p.m. EST. So we don't. We doesn't even analyze the UK, right? So here's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys. February 6th and February 7th. And say if we're just talking about the standard version, for our standard version. Pretty sure the release date for the standard version is is going to be February 9th, right? Um, if I just look here, pull it up on my phone, it's February 10th. So the 9th and the 10th, right? Um, so 9th and 10th, right? Eastern time would be 12 a.m. On the 10th, you'd be able to play the game, right? So the UK... For both scenarios, have to wait 18 hours after console release date, alongside with PC release dates for the Eastern time, time zone, or whatever, right? Um... Here's the thing. A lot of these streamers have 
set it up so that they're going to be live streaming from the time that it re releases. Keep in mind for PC, there's no preload time, right? Like, there's no preload on PC. I, I never understood why. I think console is just better. But there's no preload time for the PC. So... You're going to have to obviously download it right when the game launches. An installation, which by the way, this game, as far as I'm concerned, is 80 gigs or more. So you can be downloading for quite a bit. The other dilemma is when you have 18 hours, the console players have 18 hours, you know, a lot of people on the UK side that will be playing the game have to watch out for spoilers because if you have 18 hours of access before other people and you record videos like I do um, you post it online so you know, that's obviously going to be spoilers for the UK people will that stop me from fucking posting it? No but you know it's just something to look out for right um I plan on whenever the game drops to obviously record and post. Post a video of the early access, right? So it'll be good. I'll be streaming, uh, not streaming, uh, recording on PS, PS5. Uh, so uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, we'll do walkthroughs and playthroughs, etc. But yeah. Um, so PS5 preload will be on the 5th of February. That's when you can pre-download the game. Then obviously following the release. Xbox. Xbox, I'm pretty sure you can already preload the game on Xbox. I've seen it around. But people were very confused, and people are convinced that when the game comes out, there's going to be a bunch of bugs. I doubt it. Uh, let's be real here. When you know the only kind of games that have bugs on release, unless it's fucking cyberpunk, would be mobile games, right? Mobile games. Usually mobile games. So, um. People are obviously angry about the fact that they've pushed the date back for PS4 and older gen consoles. I think it should be pushed back. It's it's ridiculous that people are upset about that. Like, look, you need more time to polish a game on the older gen consoles that is supposed to perform well, right? We can use Cyberpunk as a perfect example of what it looks like when you don't fucking polish a game upon release that game came out for ps4 i ended up buying it and it was a buggy fucking disaster couldn't move i was glitching in the walls characters were glitching in the walls had a mass refund so you need time to polish the game now nintendo switch i don't know how they're gonna make that work i've never ever seen a high graphics game on nintendo switch I don't even know if they're fucking the thing inside the Nintendo Switch. Whatever they're using is compatible with the graphics. We'll see. But obviously, they need more time to tweak that. This just needs more time, right? This needs more time. I don't disagree with it. I don't disagree with it. Fuck, even if I was still on the PS4, I wouldn't disagree with it. A disaster situation would be when you fucking fully release the game on all platforms for all generations, and then it's a complete buggy disaster on the old gen consoles, then you have a Cyberpunk 2077 situation where the game literally gets cancelled. Like I won't I won't lie to you, like it would be a mess. So guys, you should be happy that the game is being delayed for the older gen. Because what would end up happening, to explain it one more time is everyone would get the game at the same time. The older gen consoles would have a possibility, not guaranteed, a possibility of being 
a buggy disaster because they didn't test it enough for older gen. And then everybody would end up refunding the game on older gen. And that would quite literally be fucking disastrous. And the reason why it'd be disastrous is because you'd have all these horrible reviews, all these... You know, everyone's everyone being upset. Content creators going on YouTube and filming how garbage it is. Just just like Cyberpunk 2077. That's how it would go. Cyberpunk 2077 came out for the PS4. This was before the PS5 was released, I'm pretty sure. And then it came out with PC alongside PC, Xbox. Xbox and PS5, I mean PS4 were complete fucking buggy disaster while PC performed fucking amazing. So there's just a difference between, you know. So I, I'm happy that, that they're not doing it like that. Um. I will say, regarding the times, like, it's not the end of the fucking world, but it is disappointing. Obviously, if you don't want to see spoilers, you have to stay off the fucking internet for 18 hours. So. Fuck me, it is already, it's already hard enough to, to, to not get spoiled. As far as I'm concerned, what I've heard is there are actually digital copies out there that people have got access to and are playing the game and uploading it, right? So, I haven't even, I haven't even looked, I, I personally don't care about spoilers, I really don't give a shit, right? Because I'm the kind of person when I don't like to go in a game blind, I don't want to know what the fuck I'm doing, I want to know how to play. That's why I use this, this website, I highly recommend if you want to know how to play the game, if you need help. Use the website in my other video. I'll link it in this one too. Pretty fucking good. So. Again. There's just. So much shit right. So. Um, yeah. I mean. That's it guys. That's all there is to it. So. Uh, yeah. It'll be good. I'll record early access. And hell yeah, let's get it. So, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And the next video, might have one more video after this. Uh, the next one will definitely be a Hogwarts Legacy video. So, 